Part 1. Listen to the full conversation. Hey, have you heard about the Gaza-Israel conflict in the news recently? Yeah, I've seen some reports about it. It's really sad, isn't it? Definitely. I mean, why can't they just make peace? Well, it's a complicated situation with a long history. Both sides have their reasons. I guess so. But it's terrible to see so many people suffering. Absolutely. The civilian casualties are heartbreaking. Do you think there will ever be a solution? I hope so, but it's hard to say. It'll require a lot of negotiation and compromise. True, but don't you think other countries should get involved and help? They already do to some extent, but it's ultimately up to the Israelis and Palestinians to find common ground. It's just frustrating to see this conflict continue for so long. I agree, but resolving deep-seated conflicts takes time. Do you think a two-state solution is possible? Many people hope for that, but it's still a contentious issue. What about the role of international organizations like the United Nations? They can certainly play a part in facilitating negotiations and providing humanitarian aid. Yeah, but sometimes it feels like not much progress is being made. Progress can be slow, but it's important not to lose hope. Have you ever met anyone from that region? Maybe they can shed some light on the situation. I haven't, but it would be interesting to hear their perspective. I heard that the situation has a significant impact on the daily lives of people living there. Yes, it does. Imagine living in a place with constant conflict and uncertainty. It's really tough for the children growing up there. Absolutely. The trauma they experience is heart-wrenching. I wish there was something more we could do to help. Well, we can stay informed, support organizations working towards peace, and advocate for a peaceful resolution. That's true. Education and awareness are crucial. Definitely. The more people understand the situation, the better chance we have for a peaceful solution. Let's hope that one day we'll see lasting peace in that region. Amen to that. It's what we all hope for. Practice session. Let's practice together. I'll go first. Hey, have you heard about the Gaza-Israel conflict in the news recently? Definitely. I mean, why can't they just make peace? I guess so. But it's terrible to see so many people suffering. Do you think there will ever be a solution? True, but don't you think other countries should get involved and help? It's just frustrating to see this conflict continue for so long. Do you think a two-state solution is possible? What about the role of international organizations like the United Nations? Yeah, but sometimes it feels like not much progress is being made. Have you ever met anyone from that region? Maybe they can shed some light on the situation. I heard that the situation has a significant impact on the daily lives of people living there. It's really tough for the children growing up there. I wish there was something more we could do to help.
That's true. Education and awareness are crucial. Let's hope that one day we'll see lasting peace in that region. Now, let's switch the role. You go first. Yeah, I've seen some reports about it. It's really sad, isn't it? Well, it's a complicated situation with a long history. Both sides have their reasons. Absolutely. The civilian casualties are heartbreaking. I hope so, but it's hard to say. It'll require a lot of negotiation and compromise. They already do to some extent, but it's ultimately up to the Israelis and Palestinians to find common ground. I agree, but resolving deep-seated conflicts takes time. Many people hope for that, but it's still a contentious issue. They can certainly play a part in facilitating negotiations and providing humanitarian aid. Progress can be slow, but it's important not to lose hope. I haven't, but it would be interesting to hear their perspective. Yes, it does. Imagine living in a place with constant conflict and uncertainty. Absolutely, the trauma they experience is heart-wrenching. Well, we can stay informed, support organizations working towards peace, and advocate for a peaceful resolution. Definitely. The more people understand the situation, the better chance we have for a peaceful solution. Amen to that. It's what we all hope for.